Big day on Capitol Hill as a witness war nears a final decision. Senators could decide if they will remove President Donald Trump from office, but first, they have to vote on whether or not they'll hear from additional witnesses. Lisa Washington joins us in the studio to explain how that vote could go and what the outcome means for the trial. Lisa? Well, Heather, the short answer could be no witnesses are called, and then the senators vote on whether the president will be acquitted. Now, that could happen tonight, but the Democrats are hoping that witnesses will be called to testify in the president's impeachment trial. Democrats need four Republicans to vote with them to secure new witnesses. Last night, one of the Republicans they'd hoped would vote with them said he would not. We're talking about retiring Senator Lamar Alexander of Tennessee, who says there's no need for the witnesses because the House managers have proved, quote, it it was inappropriate for the president to ask a foreign leader to investigate his political opponent. But he added, it is not an impeachable offense. A similar argument made by the president's legal defense team. I'm deeply disappointed in it. I, I, um, I think that it makes that makes it uh, likely that the that the Senate may have it the first impeachment trial in history uh, that have no witnesses at all and. Uh, it's hard to imagine that this is a fair trial under those circumstances. Now, if there is a 50-50 tie when the senators vote on whether to allow witnesses, the Chief Justice, John Roberts, who you see there, who has presided over this trial, could be the deciding vote, and that's only if he wants to. Now, Maine's Republican Senator Susan Collins has said that she will vote for witnesses, and Alaska's Lisa Murkowski said that she will decide later today how she'll vote. Again, if no witnesses are called, the Senate may vote on the president's possible acquittal tonight. Heather? It's going to be a big day in the Capitol. Thank you so much, Lisa. Stay with KDKA throughout the day for updates on the impeachment trial, including a CBS News special report that will be this afternoon on KDKA. We will also have live coverage streaming at KDKA.com and alerts through our mobile news app.